and Mike from Rock and Load and I have the pleasure this afternoon at Hard Rock Hell of talking to James Torsler. Thank you very much James for talking to us. Pleasure. Yeah, pleasure, no worries. Um, the last 18 months has been pretty amazing for Torsland as a band, hasn't it? Um, what's been your highlight from the last 18 months? Or oh, highlights? I know, I mean, to be honest, it'll have to be. <laughs> quite a few. It'll have to be probably, yeah. Um, I, I think when we first kicked off the band, um, Toby Jepson, who I wrote the songs yeah. with, um, gave us the support for the Little Angels when they reformed after 18 years. Yeah. They, they did download and then they did a UK tour. and. Um, that was really special because they were kind of just coming back just for that and then they were going to disperse again. Yeah. Um, but you could really feel in the audience that they, they, they could sense that Toby had been involved in the writing of the songs that we were playing and then the Little Angels fans kind of got on the back of us and supported us off, off to, yeah. to kick start everything off. Um, so I, a big thanks to the Little Angels for kind of um, just putting us on the map a bit really. Um, and then you know supporting the status quo and the frantic tour that frantic was Ford yeah tour. absolutely that was something else because they were in venues that were five five six thousand and um um and you know we were classic rockers and you know and it was a perfect audience you know for, for the quo audience yeah. and um so a lot of them connected to it and uh reef one of the was the earlier ones and um but then the festivals, you know, supporting Aerosmith at Calling and yeah. and the Scorpions not long ago at Rambling Man Fair. Yeah, that was Rambling our first um, main stage as well performance. Excellent. How did that go? Just yeah, it's daunting. Yeah, you know, I being being yeah. at the side of the stage and uh, seeing fifteen thousand people like and um, we're all expecting, all expecting eyes looking at you know. Um, but yeah, it's just been. I've got a great band now. The band's changed a bit since the get go and because um, I got the songs together with Toby just wrote and then got the band around it afterwards. Yeah. Um, and that's changed a few few times. Me and Zurab, my, my lead guitarist, is, is kind of Zurab's like, been with you from the start. From the right? start, yeah. yeah. He was. He's, 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 my, your wife, he's your brother-in-law, isn't he? He's my brother-in-law. Yeah. yeah. He's my writing man. You know, he's, he's a phenomenal guitarist and um, very proud to have him in the band. Um, and you know, it, it, it's it's so it makes it so much easier um, when he's obviously is around a lot. You know, being family, um, we can work closely yeah. together on stuff. So, um, but yeah. We, but we've, we've had a bit of a quiet summer this year because we did all the festivals last year yeah. so they don't put you on consecutive years usually so we've um i knew i was gonna have the time to write new material and um we've just come out of our studios um written the new song or re uh, recorded the new songs um i put the vocals down to them uh, next week and the week after and then i fly to um to vancouver to see mike fraser who's who's going to mix it for is us. it yeah. wow yeah. so your album will be phrased yes i remember in the like early 90s when mike fraser just mixed Everything's every album going yeah and you open the album cover it says this album has been phrased yeah <laughs> so it's going to be on your yeah well, oh it is i'm really yeah because I've, I've been traveling a bit this year and i got some air miles and I've never been to Canada before, you know, or Vancouver, obviously. So, um, so I'm, I've, I, I just got the air miles out and booked it, and um, I, got, I, I was able to take two. So, um, Zorab's coming with us, um, cool. and he's really excited about that. So, how did you get Mike Fraser involved? How did you get him to mix the album? Toby again, really, because me and Toby were writing, and we, we didn't really know how how it was all going to kind of like progress. But we did a couple of two or three demos. And he got really excited about it, and he picked up the uh, phone to his, uh, his old agent, Strangey, uh, Steve Strange, yeah. um, and said, "I think you know you might want to listen to this, and I think you might be interested in it." And, and he was, luckily, and um, so it all developed from that. So we, basically, all the people that Toby used to know and work with, um, and Mike Fraser was one of them. And, um, so Steve Harris makes the first one, which was amazing. Um, but on this album, we've got brass and some strings and all kinds of other things going on, um, and Toby instantly thought of Aerosmith, you know, uh, and obviously, you know, Mike's the man yeah, for that, so, yeah. yeah. So has Toby had as much of an input on your new album as it had on the first, yep. on Renegade? completely the same process. We sit down together, um, he's got his guitar and I've got my piano and, and I play a few ideas and he's got uh, the guitar ideas and, and then lyrics, we, we get a title, discuss what the title means to both of us. Yeah. And we find the best one, <laughs> uh, and we just go from there. Cool. Yeah. I mean, just going back again, Renegade was was actually the first album that I reviewed for Rock and Lord. All right. And I'm actually proud of the fact that it was the first album that I reviewed because I, I was handed it to me. I thought, right, okay, new Torsland album. Never heard anything by you before. Put it on, and it, it just blew me away. Oh. Um, so have you found how long how long ago did the album come out now? It was uh, about, just about two years ago. Yeah. Um, so months, yeah. has the reaction been the same everywhere? Because I absolutely love the album. Like I said, the first album I will give it a five, five out of five. Oh, wow. Thank you. Um, so has the reaction been the same? Well, we got a everywhere? record deal off it um, uh, with Metal Bill in Cologne, and um, 
and they repack us. We had an EP out uh, in March this year called Hearts and Bones, and basically the label wanted to put Hearts and Bones onto the Renegade and repackage it, right. and that's what they've done. Um, and in Europe now and in America, um, so it's it's doing okay, you know, um, like any new act kind of is is going to do uh, yeah. when they first hit the scene. Um, but, but as always. It needs a certain amount of material and a certain amount of time for people to hear about it, get used to it, hear a lot of people say that's that's great, like you've done, and and then other people think, oh, I'll listen to it then. Yeah. Um, and it just needs it needs that time. Um, and I'm I'm really excited about album two because I really feel it's it's going to do that for us hopefully. Do you envisage you, that it will take you to the next stage? Absolutely, completely, because it has to. You know, you got you got to think that way to. To put this amount of time and dedication into into it, um, you got to really believe it. And so I'm I'm really proud of the songs. Um, I'm really excited about putting the vocals on them because the backing tracks are ace. The, the band's done a yeah. great job on that. So yeah. Um, yeah, and that's the whole plan next year. Album's going to be out in May. We'll do a tour in March in, in the UK and Europe, and then with the deal, with the release in Europe, hopefully we'll be able to get on the European festivals as well as. Yeah. So um, a lot of big festivals in Europe. It well, is. Because we, what we've noticed with Status Quo and, 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 and the Scorpion, the Rambling Man Fair, every time we, we play in front of a lot of people, uh, a lot of people quite like it. And the, the record sales increase. Well, it's not so much record sales, uh, but it's it's just support for yeah. the band. So the next time we do a tour, we'll go from an Academy 3 to an Academy 2 maybe, yeah. you know, and, and then the perception all kind of grows from everything. Um, so if, because it's you know as you know every rock band it's all about live these days really yeah. rather than album sales and hard work yeah which is what you're putting in yeah so hopefully hopefully you'll we'll get see. To, we'll see. to the stage that you want to be at yeah um, going on <clears throat> the past 18 months you, you were invited to the classic rock awards <clears throat> this week weren't you yeah um, did you do anything other than go as a punter no or? I was invited by Steve Strange which was nice um, and uh, I, I was there and amongst the the, the greats. I mean, Jimmy was there. Jimmy Page was there, and Lemmy was there. Bless him. Um, yeah. um, but I mean, Brian May uh, got up on stage as well. And and and, and when you see that the, the the newcomers awards uh, and and best band and all these uh, all these categories, and um, and you look around, you realise how long the boys have been doing it to get yeah. that level of respect. Yeah. Then you realise, okay. I, I need at least album two, and I need at least this. Yeah. You know, let's let's. Um, Let's just put all perspective, uh, all kind of like expectations, on hold and just let it be do its thing. Yeah. You know. How does rock star adulation compare to sports star adulation? Because, like I say, you've played a few festivals and you've done your own gigs, so yeah. people come along just to see you mm. headline. So you've got a bit of adulation there. Yeah. So is it growing? You all the time. I mean, it won't be at that same stage as your sports star adulation yet, will it? But well, look, luckily, that, that that's I'm I'm used to and experienced enough to to, to know how long it takes for people to accept you and respect what you do. Um, and I know it didn't happen in, in two or three years, which I've been doing music. It took me 15 years in racing um, for me to walk through an airport and a, and, and a, a fellow or a lass come up and say, I just want to tell you, I really enjoyed watching you racing, and you give me a lot of years of pleasure. Thanks very much. And walk straight on. Yeah. <laughs> it really takes you back, you know. But you know that's not that's not a two or three year effort. It's you know, a long time of dedication where people really uh, appreciate that, that amount of uh, dedication to it. Yeah. But it's, it's it's coming, you know. But the sport was easy. I crossed the line first. I really loved it. Yeah. I can think I've written the best song in the world, but nobody's gonna like it. <laughs> so it was it was simpler with racing with sport. Yeah. Um, so going back to sport, um, you were. I'm going to have a go at the world land speed record, is that still on the car? It's still on, yeah. We've just found out though, after three years of thinking that they've had wet summers there and the salt's not dried out enough to solidify, uh, it's not a natural cause that's been, been a problem. They've been, there's been a big company fracking in the area uh, and this is the cause why the Bonneville salt flats are in trouble. So we're going to have to look for a different um, area to do. Really? So we're currently looking at South Africa and uh, Australia for a, for a strip to, to do it on. And have you got a date or uh, Not a date now, just because we found this out. Year. <laughs> well, we're, we're still hopeful for next year. I go for the seat fitting, because I've had the seat moulded. I go for that on the 13th of December. Um, so is, it gonna, is it on two wheels or is it on four? Mm. Oh yeah, it's going to be on two, two wheels. Yeah. Oh, crikey. I mean, <laughs> I mean my, my expectations 
and my abilities ran out, you know, uh, uh, on two wheels pretty, pretty pretty fast, even with the talent I had on that. But I, I didn't, you know, to four wheels, I've got no idea. So, because they're trying to do a thousand miles an hour, aren't they, on four wheels? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> that's going to be unbelievable. Yeah, just can't comprehend that. Oh, so. <laughs> and, but the record's 376 on a motorbike, rear wheel driven one. Yeah. Uh, record, and uh, we're going to try and be the first person over 400. Whether it's next year or the year after, I hope it's pretty soon because. You know, I, I used to go 200 miles an hour every weekend, and my brain was used to processing that kind of information. But um, I'm, I'm about three or four miles an hour now in London. You know? <laughs> it's what you have to do. It's going to be a shocker when I get on that thing. <laughs> well, your, your injury that, that stopped you from was it your wrist that, yeah. that uh, stopped you from racing? Yeah. Will you still? Will that still hold up when you? No, I've got a foot throttle. Right. Yeah. That's what. That's why I'm able to do it. Right. So they've adapted the bike. Yeah. Because basically. Yeah. If, if, if you can see, there's four screws in here. Oh, right. That's the, the bend I've got yeah, to yeah. the wrist. Well, first off, that's it. And how do you go on playing keyboards? I have to stand to the left a bit. <laughs> right. But I don't play too many songs. I only play two or three songs in the set, you know, on keys. Yeah. I mean, out from the. You just, you just adapt. You got to, right? Yeah. Go. Luckily, my fingers are okay, so I can. Yeah. But without. Because the piano is right and left, and I haven't got any of that either. So I have to hop a bit. Right. But it, to be honest, I have to be more precise playing because yeah. I haven't got that flexibility, so um, I have to practice a lot more. It's done to me any harm. No, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Only help. Yeah. Um, so, what does 2016 hold for Torsland as a band? Um, out on the road in March, uh, UK and Europe. Um, album out in May. Promoting that in the festivals and hopefully having all the big festivals and getting decent slots there and, and then touring the uh, the, the album um, and headline shows in the autumn. Um, I also did a BBC documentary as well All right. Um, and that's coming out possibly in January as well um, for retired sportsmen um, and um, we're, we're doing four indigenous games uh, at sports around around the world some of the oldest sports I've ever known horseback archery and all stuff like that. And, Has that uh, already been filmed? It's already been filmed and uh, so that, that's going to be coming out hopefully hopefully early next year as well. There's me, um, yeah, so it's going to be good. But you can't say you're I can't say, I just thought that. that, 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 that so you were about to sell us no, then, no, weren't no, you? I did, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that as well. Excellent, look forward to seeing that. Yeah. We'll have to look out for that. Well, thank you very much, James. It's been an absolute yeah. pleasure. Pleasure, mate. Good luck today. Cheers. With, with, with the show. Thanks very much. Um, good luck with the album release. And Cheers. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thank you, Bill. Thank you very Cheers. much.